Hello everyone, it's me Shroynature here back with a brand new video so I'm going to try to make this video short and sweet as possible. This is your Destiny 2 PC moving to Steam for the Shadow Keep launch. Uh, make sure you go to the website link for that process so I will leave the link in the description down below for you guys. So make sure that is step number one. Make sure you go to that link so you guys can understand how the process is, are going to go. Um, you may already sign into one of your accounts. Um, maybe it's PS4, Xbox Live, Battle.net, or whatever. But if you're on Battle.net, this is the best option for you. For PS4 and Xbox One, somebody might have a different video for that situation. But if you're playing Destiny 2 on PC, which I am right now, uh, make sure that you kind of follow along with this video. So sign into your Bungie.net account. That is step number one. That will tell you automatically to sign into there. So make sure you do that before ahead of time. So sign into your Bungie.net link account. And then kind of link your account to Steam or whatever that you're going to be using. So make sure that you link your Steam account. Okay, so it clearly tells you when you see this process where I was typing in my Steam username and then of course my password, it clearly says sign in to the bungee.net. Go into there first, okay, before anything. Okay, I know this giving you a process to like link it from here and there, but it's best to sign into your bungee.net account and then you it's the best to kind of link your Steam account to bungees.net and all that it's kind of confusing um if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section down below but just go to bungee.net and link your steam account once you link your steam account and you sign into battle.net account too um basically make sure that everything's there make sure everything is transfer all the way to the steam account meaning your your characters your license for destiny 2 your license for uh, Curse of Osiris, Warmire, Forsaken, and the annual pass. Make sure all those are linked to those accounts. Make sure everything is followed right behind you as you go. And make sure that your silver is with you too. Once you sign into Steam and all that situation, I have a Steam Guard. So make sure you have a two step verification for any process. It doesn't matter for Steam, Uniplay, Ubisoft, whatever it is that you be playing your games most of the time, even Epic Games. Make sure that you have a two step verification account to make sure your account is verified. The reason why I say that is for most cases, if you guys do know, there's always like hacking situation going on, especially in the gaming world, especially on PlayStation. Somebody's always hack into PlayStation Network make sure that you have a two-step verification account once you kind of put that in there for the Steam Guard everything should be all set and ready for go just make sure that everything is there in that setting if you have any problems or any situation go to Bungie help on Twitter I will leave their links down below if there's some situation where your character didn't transfer or you're missing one of your characters or you're missing one of your license make sure that everything is there at the beginning of time you will not get access to play Destiny 2 on Steam until October 1st that is the situation Bungie just wants you to transfer over to your account so they won't have too many situations on October 1st. So it's a good thing that they delayed Shadow Keep a little bit, a couple of more months, just in case for this type of situation. So that's a good thing. So they want to make sure they have a smooth launch on that day. This is just the beginning. A uh, cross save will begin tomorrow on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time if you're on the East Coast. 10 a.m. Pacific time if you're on the West Coast. So make sure you guys stay to details and everything like that. If you guys have any problems or any situations about linking your accounts, everything will be in the description down below. Feel free to leave your comments down below. I had a couple of problems at the same time because I didn't follow the instructions. It clearly tells you on Steam to sign into your Bungie.net account to link your Steam account. So make sure that um, you do that process before anything. Uh, this is for PC players. Players. I don't know for Xbox and PS4 if I find a video on YouTube about somebody linking those two accounts I will more than welcome to leave that link of that video down below for you guys but this is for PC players who are on battle.net okay so any questions feel free to answer them as much as you can and I will catch you guys in my next post